Hi, welcome to Tech Tricks Tutorial. Today, we're going to show you how to stream on Twitch using mobile. It's a step-by-step -step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now, let's get right into it. Streaming on Twitch has never been easier. And with the power of your mobile phone, you can share your gaming adventure and connect with viewers on the go. In this tutorial, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of streaming on Twitch using your mobile device. We will also discuss some tips and tricks to ensure smooth and enjoyable streaming experience from your mobile device. So, whether you're traveling, at a gaming event, or simply prefer the convenience of mobile streaming, let's get ready to take your Twitch adventure to the next level. So, let's get started. Now to start streaming on Twitch, you're going to first install an app. You're going to open your Play Store, and you're simply going to search for this application called Prism Live. And you're going to install this specific application to be able to start streaming on your mobile phone. As you can see here, this is a preview of the app. Now I currently installed this application, so what we're going to do now is we're simply going to explore and see how we will be able to start streaming on our Twitch. We're simply going to click on open now. And as you can see, we will be able to open our Prism Live. As you can see here, we will be able to continue with Facebook, Google, Twitch, and Apple. You can also sign up with email over here if you would like to create a new account. But for us, we're going to stream in Twitch, so we're going to click on the Twitch option. And what you're going to do next is you're simply going to log in into your Twitch account. As you can see here, you're going to log in into your username and enter your password. Now, after connecting your Twitch account, it's going to ask you to verify the connection. As you can see here, these are all the things that you would need to authorize to allow Prism Live Studio to start live streaming for you and connect it to your Twitch account. You're going to click on Authorize and that would allow you to connect both Prism and your Twitch account. As you can see here also, you would need to grant permission for your camera, microphone, files and media, and notification. You're simply going to click on OK and you're going to allow them as you can see here on our pop-up we're going to allow while using the app just like that and now here we are on our prism app this is what our prism app looks like we're going to give you a quick tour with our prism app over here before we proceed as you can see here right now our version or the feature that we are using right now is the screen recorder as you can see here on the top of the ready button we have camera and screen if you would like to live stream whatever your camera is seeing, maybe yourself or like a video that you are taking, you can simply click on camera, which would allow you to record your camera or whatever your camera is receiving. You could also have filters for this specific feature. You could also click on the three dots over here on the top. You will be able to choose between these settings over here, like flip from camera, save video after streaming. If you would like to save the video, just like that. You could also use live status indicator, have focus mode, has camera pro, camera chroma key, and have a remote control connection. You could also enable flash, your mic, your camera, or have a full screen view over here. You could also choose from connect, live, video, and photo over here. Right now, we're going to go with screen. So you can simply click on ready over here, and you will be able to start recording with your prism. By clicking on... By clicking on ready, you will be able to see this pop up over here where you will be able to select the destination. You can click on set destination over here. And over here, you can choose all these different accounts that you could sign in to a platform to begin streaming. We have Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Odyssey, Strobo, Africa TV, Naver TV, Band, Naver Shopping, Now, and Naver Cloud platform. You could also have a custom RTP MP if you would like. For us, we're going to click on Twitch and we will be able to connect our Twitch through the section once again. We're going to connect it. And as you can see here, we have our Twitch channel that is already connected because we have connected it early on in our video. So we're simply going to click on OK. And over here, we will be able to enter our title. For example, we would like to record a game. And one of the game that we would like to record is maybe called Hungry. 
shark grill just like that click on done and now we have a title for our live so we're simply going to click on this now you could set an intro for your live you could click on set intro and you could import a video or a photo from your studio to create an intro you could go to your studio over here as you can see here you could add screencast rtm e source you could choose from different media like photo and video over here you could also choose music you could also choose your playlist add text add widgets as you can see here we have this text over here you could use this as our screencast over here you could do more settings like your title screensaver social captions sticker over here you could choose any of these options uh, we could go with this one for the meantime for our title you can also click on this button which would allow you to edit the content for example we have our title over here our channel we're going to put it in just like this we're going to adjust it just like that and you can also edit the the font says over here you can change it to whatever font you would like to have you could add colors in the section you can change it to whatever color you want you could have templates but right now there is no template there's also no template for the alignment and for now we're going to click on done and now we have this as our as a part of our live as you can see here it is putting in our title over here on the top you could also add more things like add the intro you could do another intro you could click on add intro go to my studio and you could add another thing you could add more video playlist text widget or a screencast over here and now we're going to go back you can also select a category over here you can go and search for games or whatever game you are trying to Record, you're going to search for the specific game. So we're going to go with Hungry Shark if it's going to show up here. As you can see here, we have Hungry Shark Evolution and we have Hungry Shark World. We're going to go with World. And now our category is the specific game that we are going to record. You can also choose your resolution over here from 720 to 1080 to 480 to, 6 to 360 depending on your internet. You could set your video quality to adaptive or fix right now i suggest that you use adopted instead because if your wi-fi is being slow or being laggy your entire device would be laggy as well you can also adjust your bitrate over here to whatever bitrate you would like to use depending on what you would need as you can see we're currently using the recommended which is the 200 and 500 kbps over here your frame rate should also be 30 fps which is more recommended and the key interval to be one second zero right here after that you can simply click on ok and what you're going to do next is you're simply going to click on go live and you would be able to successfully start a live stream on your mobile and simply going clicking on live your screen recorder would automatically start recording your screen right now i can't do that because i'm also recording my screen with the samsung recorder and if i start live right now the two recorders will munch function and we won't be able to see what i'm doing on our tutorial right now but that's what would happen you simply go going to click on live and your video or your screen would be on live and you can simply go to whatever game that you would like to play for example hungry shark over here dv legends snuff bar or any games that you would like to play and you would be able to live stream that specific video and that's it guys, hope you enjoyed the video, thanks for watching.